Hello guys, this is Sahil. Welcome to Cloud Doctor. In the previous video, we have created the password visibility functionality and in this video, we will talk about Cognito like how to integrate React with Cognito and we'll create our Cognito user pool. So let's start with the video. So here what we need to do here first of all, let me open AWS console and we'll have to work on the console only first of all so we'll go to the cognito dashboard and we'll create on manage user pool so we have to create a new user pool here so guys you just have to follow the video follow the creation of user pool as i am doing because if you will be doing anything different then it might not work so you just have to click on create a user pool after that we have to go with step through settings and here we have to provide the pool name so in our case it will be reg me and we'll go through step through settings yeah so either we can go with username or email address so we'll choose email address only and everything looks good and if you require any kind of attribute then you can just select it so in our case we'll require the username so we'll select name and we don't need to add any kind of custom attributes so we'll just shift to next step and here we need to add the password policy so as per our requirement this is more than enough and everything seems good we just need to go to the next step so we don't need any kind of mfn verifications here so we'll just go to the next step and in the message customization what we need to do either we can go with code or link so we'll choose link and we will write welcome to reg me please click the link below to really verify your email address yeah it looks good and we'll click on next step then we don't need any tags do you want to remember your user's device no and yeah we need to create an app client right now so the name of the app client will be manager or you can select anything you can choose anything and here we just need to uncheck this box generate client secret after that we don't need to do anything and we just have to click on create app client so that's all and we just need to go to the next step so we don't need any kind of triggers right now like after login what will happen so it's okay we will go to the next step and we just have to review it once and we have to click on create pool okay so our user pool has been created so now we'll talk about cognito js identity npm cognito js identity yeah let it be open first Yeah. So we'll use this package here in our project to integrate AWS Cognito with our React app. Uh, we can have you know different methods as well to integrate Cognito. We can use the same mechanism as we did uh, in our CRUD operation like creating DynamoDB and all things. But in our project we will go with this one. So let me just copy this command from here and let me first install it. So I will just open another terminal new tab and we'll paste the command here okay so now it is installing so let us talk about it little bit so in this package we are having different functionalities like i'll show you yeah as you can see registering a user with the application this is the registration part and we'll use this in the next video and confirming a registered unauthenticated user using a confirmation code received by SMS. So we are having a set of different, you know, things like uh, forget password functionality, uh, password change functionality as well, user attribute change, everything is here. So we will be using this only. So let us check whether it has been installed or what. So as we can see, it has been installed. So our next task is to create two more directories here so let us do that inside source directory 
will create a directory called context and we will create another directory called states yeah states inside this context directory we will create a file called account context.js and in the states we will create one file called account state.js state dot js yeah so we will create the boilerplate here in the context file first of all okay so here what we have to do import create context from react so after that const account context equals to create context yeah then export default account context so that's all for this file so now account state.js so now import react from react then import account context okay okay so const account state equals to this one then we'll do the stuff here after that return account context dot provider okay, we have to write provider then here props dot okay so let me include props here first of all so here props dot children and we have to export this so export default account context okay so that's all for this video from the next video we will start working on the authentication part using aws cognito I request you to please like the video, share the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will be adding videos frequently to complete this series. Thank you.